time. Probably been about two weeks since I rode this driveway. Huh. Trying to not stop. It's only about 90 degrees outside right now. And it's a workout. I don't know that I've ever made it to the top of this hill on this bike without stopping. But we did today. So progress. Oh man. Oh. I don't want to be in this heat on this asphalt. I want to turn around. It's only about 1.6 miles from my house to the asphalt and back. Oh, we go back down. It's always fun. Oh, I 
lost the chain. Huh, again. I should say I lost the chain again. Because it always seems to happen on that hill. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Because this has a clutch. Oh, you know what? I have it on, right? Off. On. Well. I don't know what gear I'm in. It seems to be low, but not low enough for this hill. <laughs> Let's see, that would be third. That would be first. Not to start from a dead stop, it ain't low enough. Huh. I don't honestly know if I'll be able to do this or not. I'm a dead stop on this gravel. Ah, not so bad. I really thought the tires would come. So yeah, other than the um, foot pedals, everything on this is still factory. I thought I would buy this and I would like upgrade it to a real mountain bike. <laughs> this is the Mongoose Ledge X2. But this is only about my fifth or sixth ride on this bike. And I haven't even put air in the tires. Whatever air that come with is what's in it now. Didn't even check it. And uh, I haven't had any of the suspension issues other people have talked about as far as like the creaks and noises and all that stuff. My only issue is in the five or six times I've rode it, I've already adjusted the derailleur two times, getting ready to be a third. Always for the same problem. Oh, the chain always comes off on that hill. Rides as smooth as butter though in this driveway. Compared to my grip that has no suspension. These hills are probably way bigger in person than what they appear on video. I'm fairly confident. <laughs>
this is pretty rough up here because there's a lot of washouts. Right here, right here, right here, and right here. I mean the brakes work you just saw me use the brakes to stop right there after coming off that little ledge right there um i've not had any issues out of this other than the chain coming off on a hill it's the only issue uh no noise in the suspension no noise in the front suspension you can see i have come up quite a bit on the suspension there i think you can see that um I've never heard any noises though, so if it come close to bottoming out, I think it was, I think it wasn't all the way there. Might have been pretty close, but not all the way there. And uh, my driveway is very rough. So if it was going to bottom out, it would have definitely done it by now. Um, again, I didn't even put air in the tires. I've been riding it since I got it, put it together, started riding it. I had about a week or two I didn't ride either bike. Here's a grip sitting over there. I haven't rode it in about two weeks. I also haven't rode this in about two weeks because I've just been busy and I've been doing other workouts at home. Running, running and uh, Bowflex Max. I've been alternating those when I can't do cycling, but uh, things around the house are starting to slow down again as far as like bee season. We haven't got into the fall honey flow yet, so I added cycling this week and next week to my polo training plan and then uh, I'll reevaluate after that. But anyway, so I bought this mountain bike because the Grit X on my driveway, super rough. Um, I actually thought about putting a front suspension on it and bigger tires to see if I could get it to handle better on the driveway. Once I get it on the road, the asphalt, it's kind of like a road bike, then it rides like a dream. But on my rough driveway, it's pretty rough, being it's hardtail, no front suspension, pretty rough. Um, I've watched a bunch of videos on it. A lot of people say to upgrade the tires and put a suspension fork on it. I may do that, I may not. So, I bought this mountain bike. Mostly, that was part of the reason, but I also want to get back into mountain biking. And uh, we got some trails here in Kentucky that are pretty nice. The closest public trails are about an hour away. But if you go down even further, down toward Laurel Lake, Laurel Lake's got a bunch, Kiver and Lake's got a bunch. Uh, Ellesmere, Kentucky has a bunch. So um, I didn't want to put a lot of money in this though until I find out how the bike handles on my driveway. I figured I would upgrade as I needed it. I didn't want to like upgrade just to upgrade. But so far the front shock and the rear shock has been fine. With me now, I'm relatively small. I'm only 5'5", 5'5", 5'6". Used to be 5'7 before cancer. So I lost about an inch or two and I lost about 50 pounds of weight, which brings me down to around 140 on a good day. And you know, maybe if you get up to 160 or 180, that suspension ain't so good. But for me, it works perfect. Eight speed, Getting used to that compared to the 14 speed of the grit has been, you know, a little bit of crossover challenge, but I'm finally starting to get used to it. Um, the shifters are different also, so there was some changeover I had to get crossover I had to get used to. I've not rode any newer bikes. My, the bike, bike I had before these two was 23 or so years old. And uh, it's around here somewhere. Old style BMX style mountain bike. <laughs> But uh, anyways, thanks for watching.